Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be painting a turtle with you and this is for the Connect Youth Painting Day, um, but anyone can use it and you can reuse it because it's on my YouTube channel. So just enjoy, don't forget you can pause it at any time. I will have some time lapse where I'll speed up my painting, uh, but take your time, enjoy, and uh, we'll chat soon. So here we go. So I'm gonna start with the basic shape of the turtle and then the fun part of this is that you can paint the background um, to be the ocean and you can add any colors you'd like. You can make it fun and um, add your favorite colors. You can even paint the turtle your favorite colors if you'd like. So just follow along and like I said, you can pause it at any time and uh, just um, enjoy the painting. So that's the basic shell, and then I'm gonna do the interior of the shell. We'll start with a little hexagon here. And I'm gonna be painting my hexagons different colors. I'm going to put his little head in here. Add his eyes. So right now we're just painting the outside, the outline, and then we'll fill it in a little later. We want to put his fins in there. His little tail and of course his back fins. And if you go off the canvas that's all right. Okay so that's sort of the outline of our turtle. We're going to decorate the background next. We're going to decorate his shell and then put some decorations into his um, his arms and legs, fins, that sort of thing. So um, we're going to let the black dry a little bit. We're going to get our paints ready for our background. So you can use any of the paints that you have. Um, I am going to use some blues, some little bit of green, but I want my turtle to be green, and some pinks. And if you don't know how to make pink, you take your red and your white and mix it and then you can add white to make the tone that you want, okay? You can add some purple to make purple. If you don't have it, you add some red and blue together. Alrighty, so let's wait for our background to dry and get our paints ready for our next step. Okay, so I have my palette ready. So I have 
my blue, my red, and my yellow. Um, I do have some green, but if you don't have green, you can make some blue and yellow together on your palette and get some green. Like I said, I'm not gonna use too much green because I want my turtle to be green, um, but I'm going to stick to the red, the blue, and the yellow and kind of create some colors on my canvas. This is my favorite part because you can turn your background into some really cool colors just by mixing directly on the canvas. So I'm gonna show you right now in regular time uh, how to mix right on the canvas and then I'm gonna speed up the camera and show you how to do it. So take your time. Um, like I said, you can pause it. The process and, and the fun part is just getting lost in your painting and having fun with the background, adding some patterns, adding some swirls, whatever you think. All right, so let's, let's show you how to mix directly on the canvas. So I'm taking my blue. I'm gonna add a little bit on the canvas and I'm gonna take my red and I'm going to paint right into that blue. And I'm gonna go side to side, maybe some swirls. I might grab a little bit of white, add some of that in there. And I'm not worried about over mixing because I want it to look fun and exciting. My turtle's having fun playing, swimming in the water. So just have fun adding colors. So I'm adding a little bit of white to my red and mixing it into the blue to create some purples. I'm not forgetting my sides of my canvas. Always paint your side so that you can hang it as soon as you can, as soon as it's dry. I might even grab a little bit of yellow and throw it in there. And my red and yellow will make a little bit of orange. Now I'm being very careful going up to my turtle because he is still a little wet. All right, so if you can let him dry a little bit, that would be great. And just have fun. You can do brush strokes, you can do swirls, you can even use the back of your paintbrush and do some really cool swirls and designs with the back of your brush, okay? So I'm gonna let you have fun. I'm gonna put this in speed, um, fast time lapse. All right, so you can see what it'll look like in the end. So I just finished painting the background and as you can see I did some really cool designs with just the back of my paintbrush and you can do that you don't have to you can put little designs little symbols fish seaweed whatever you think all right and we're gonna let that dry and then we're going to decide on the colors of our shell and our turtle so um, we're gonna just wait a few minutes you can take a little break stretch your hands Maybe go gra grab a glass of water, a little snack, wait for everything to dry, and then we will tackle our sea turtle. We'll see you in a second. All right, now that our turtle background is dry, our turtle is dry, our outline, now we can add some color to our turtle. Now, if you want to do your own colors, that's amazing. Get creative, have fun, mix colors, mix colors right on the turtle. Uh, if you end up going over some of the black, you can always go back after and you can add an outline. Okay, so I'm going to start with the turtle's fins and tail and head. And I'm going to do it in a green, but I think I'm going to do it in a light green. So can you guess what I'm going to do to create a light green? Yep, that's right. Green on my palette some white on my palette. I'll show it to you here, right here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow as well to make it more of a yellowy green. Ooh, I like this color. You can see that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna mix, mix, mix. And then I'm going to fill in that space. Now I'm gonna go back after and add maybe some little flicks of color here and there. But right now, I'm just gonna give it a base, light, greeny, yellow coat. All right, so, and again, I'm just painting very loose. I'm not being very, um, I'm not being very careful with my paint because I like that, the look of the brush stroke. You can see the brush stroke right on your canvas, okay? 
And I'm gonna go back and add some color to it in a little bit, but I'm going to fill in all of my other spots. So around the eye, taking my time. And again, if you go over some of the black, you can always go back and outline the whole entire turtle again. There's another fin. And if I'm going much faster than you, then you can press pause and catch up and then come back and press play and continue. That's the great thing about these videos. You can always pause them, especially when you're waiting for paint to dry. And two more spots to go. And now that you know some little things about painting turtles and backgrounds, the next time you wanna paint something, you can make a few different sizes of turtles. You can have three or four to represent your friends or your family. Um, you can have lots of fun. So there's all my spots that I'm going to paint that base gr light green yellow. Now I'm gonna go back and I might grab some yellow and put some little swipes of yellow, little dots or little brush strokes right on top. And when it's dry, you'll be able to touch it and feel the texture. Texture is very important in paintings um, because it gives the look of raised either bumps or scales or something on the turtle or the object, but it also makes it interesting to look at. Okay, so I can move in closer, Oops. and you can see. Now, if you're wondering why my camera is shaking, I dropped my phone and the lens is loose, so I have to get a new phone, but I can still take videos and still use my phone, but it's just a little shaky. So I'm just going back with some yellow. If you have glitter at home, oh my goodness, you can put some glitter on it. That would make for a fun turtle. If you have some brown, you can go back and do some little brown dots to represent the little brown freckles that are on the turtles. That is up to you. So I just made it interesting with some yellow, just little yellow dots. Clean my brush off. And when you are ready, we will begin the shell. So for the shell, I'm just going to have fun with my shell. I'm gonna make some really cool colors, um, some oranges, some yellows, some red, a little different than my background to make it pop out. Um, but I'm gonna do what I did with my background. I'm going to put these colors directly on my canvas and I'm gonna paint them and blend them directly on the canvas. So depending on the size of your canvas, you can use a medium brush like that, or you can use a small brush. The small brush will take you a little longer, but you'll be able to get into all of those spots, okay? So I am just going to put this in time-lapse after a few seconds, and I'm going to fill my whole entire shell with different colors, and I'm gonna use the hexagons as the um, as the border. So if I'm going to put, say, some red in here, a little bit of red there, a little bit of red there, then I might go back with my yellow and put my yellow in there to make that orange. So you see I'm staying within that shape, and then I'm going to the next one. So I might do, you know, a little bit of red there, maybe down here maybe up here with a little bit of yellowy orange and then I might make a purple a light purple like a mauve and I might put it right beside go lighter that's more like my background I don't know there we go you know and again you can use texture you can have thick paint it doesn't have to be thin um, you can have chunks of paint so that it's interesting to look at. 
I'm gonna put another piece there. I'm gonna wash my brush off. I might go with just some pure yellow in some spots. Now I am going over the black a little bit, but I can always wait for it to dry and then I can go back and fill that in with some black. Go over my lines again because we used them as guidelines earlier. I might do some more red, I think, maybe right here. Maybe I'll do some pink. So I'm gonna take a scoop of red, scoop of white, and mix that together to make a really pretty pink color. And I'm just going all over different spots of the shell and adding my colors in. And I'm gonna go white. And I'm blending directly on my canvas. So I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna put it in time lapse, and I'm also going to put a border around and I'm just gonna mix it with all of the colors that I mixed here. So let's have some fun. All right, so I finished my shell. So now uh, once it's dry, you can go back with your very small brush and some black paint, and you can actually go trace over your old lines to create that black border, okay? And again, if you have glitter, you can add some glitter to it, um, which would make it interesting. My paintbrush split, so now I've got little Hairs. There we go. And take your time and just trace over the shell. Make sure your paint is dry, otherwise you're going to blend a little bit, which is okay too. Makes it interesting. And there's a few other things that you can do um, while you're, you have your black. You can trace your fins and then you, you can have them come to a point and curl if you want, just to make it interesting. You can add some um, things in the background, some little lines if you want, just makes it interesting. I'm gonna switch brushes. Going around my shell. I like doing some fun little curly lines all over, especially his tail. You can have little curlies on the tail. You can put, you know, some little curls in your painting. You can even go with some green and doing some curls in the painting. Just extra little fun texture. The great thing about painting is really there's no rules. You can just have fun and put however you're feeling into it. I like these little curls. It represents, you know, whether they're swimming, it represents motion. They're moving through the ocean, adding little curls to their fin. We call this sort of whimsical painting or just having fun with it. And if you don't like something, the great thing about the paint that you're using, it's called acrylic paint. So you can always go back over it when it's fully dry and add paint, whether it's another layer or changing it completely. Go around the head. And I'm just tracing my shell making sure that I don't go over any wet paint because it'll make it blend with some black. So just have fun with it. And the final step is signing your masterpiece. And it doesn't have to be a big signature, just a small signature. And
then typically we sign on the bottom right hand corner over here. You can wait for it to fully dry and use a marker. Um, that is up to you. But definitely use a small brush. I'm just gonna add a few little more curly, whimsical things happening over here. Using my green. I might go in with a little bit of yellow and just have fun. Alrighty. So that's it. That is uh, our painting for today. I hope you had fun. Um, and now that you know a few little things about painting this turtle, I hope that you can go ahead and have fun and make your own little turtles, add some friends to your turtles, or redo another painting with smaller version. Or if you really want to tackle something, go big with your canvas and paint a big giant turtle. Um, I just encourage you to have fun while you paint. All right. Have a great day. Bye.